going to be a function of how much blood is in a ventricle, right, before they contract, and how much blood is left in the ventricles after they contract. So when a ventricle contracts, does all of the blood that's in the ventricle get pumped out? Go back. So I asked, when a ventricle contracts, does all of the blood that's in it get pumped out? No. Or is there some blood left in? There's some blood left in. Some blood left in. How much do you think gets pumped out? Give me a percent. Most? Ninety percent. Seventy-five percent. Ninety percent. Eighty-seven percent. What if I told you about half? Would I be a liar? I'm not very efficient. So, at the end of diastole, right here, at the end of diastole, just before the ventricles contract, that's when they're going to have the most blood in them, right? So right before they contract, that's when they're going to be at their fullest. So right before systole is actually right at the end of diastole, right? So we're going to call that volume that's in there the end diastolic volume. So this is the volume of blood in a ventricle right before they contract. This number, what do you think that number is? How much can they hold ma maximally? I'll tell you. 135 milliliters. Okay. Then they beat, and there's some blood left in them, right? And the amount of blood that's left in them right before they beat is about 65 milliliters. Right after they beat. So they beat, and then what's left is 65. And this should, should add up because I told you that stroke volume was about 70 milliliters per beat. Okay. So they really only eject the what we call the ejection fraction. It's really only about 55, 60% at rest. There's a significant volume left in the ventricles after they beat. Now, if you would have thought about this, I'm not saying you didn't think, but some of you have said 90%, 85%, whatever. This is at rest, right? If they ejected 90% of the volume at rest, what's left when you need more? There is a need, right? So it makes sense, right, if you think of it this way, that at rest, we should have a good reserve, right? And we should always have the ability to increase cardiac output to have more blood we can pump out if I need it. So you'll see that actually a lot. So, so to give you an idea again with this, deoxygenated blood. At rest, is it really deoxygenated? No, in fact, it's still 75% oxygenated at rest. So we only drop off 25% of it. So we need to keep these reserves. Yeah. So in after the, um, after the, there are 